Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the third annual award ceremony here at Los Angeles College. I want to introduce to the, to the stage Christy. Now Christy is nominated for a long short uh, TV show. Where was your inspiration in this? Um, well, I love to make movies. That's my inspiration. I love to tell stories and any opportunity that I get to do that, um, I'm more than eager to try. Why Los Angeles City College? Why not USC or UCLA? Um, well, LACC is actually a very fantastic school. Um, you know, if it's good enough for Mark Hamill, it's good enough for me. And if there's potential people that want to come to LACC, what advice would you give them and what inspiration or stories would you give them to, you know, take a risk? Um, believe in yourself, uh, believe in your uh, stories, and if you have a story to tell, um, please uh, do everything that you can to, uh, to tell that story, and, and I think LACC is a great way to start. What's your next move? Um, my next move, uh, we're in post-production of a, a movie that I uh, shot last year in the Provencio Alps, and um, it's going to, uh, to be edited, uh, hopefully, um, with the uh, LAC program, LACC program, and I'm super excited to, uh, to see uh, that. Um, we're also in pre-production um, of a little uh, movie that we did. Um, it was sort of pickup shots uh, for the web series, Vape Wars, so now we're putting that together uh, for season two, and so um, we're just excited to be working. I have a great team who helps me do what I do, and you know, it takes a village. That's very true. This is one thing I've learned as an immigrant coming here, because I, I actually came at LACC myself on an F1 student visa. And the learning curve that I've got from being at this school has been tremendous, and the alumni that's come from this school, I was surprised even before I came here. Mm -hmm. um, is there any other ideas or advice that you could give to people? Just one final thought that you could suggest that could inspire someone, or, you know, someone, you wasn't here a couple of years ago, there must have been a spark. What inspiration can you give to someone? I think if you can dream it, you can be it. And uh, put one foot in front of the other, believe in yourself, and anything's possible. Why not? Just doing it is the win. That's what I always think, you know? Yeah. Well, Christy, that was awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Good Next, we have Afton, who's nominated for Best Actress. Oh, no. <laughs> not. <laughs> I've, been mis I've been misinformed. It's okay. I'm best actress in my mind, so it's basically the same thing. No, just screenplay and best uh, TV short. So um, what made you, in what inspired you to do this project? Uh, uh, which one? Well, Both? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, the first one um, is a screenplay that I wrote this year, and it was my first longer short, so. And then the second one is... Um, a TV short about marriage and I am married and I've been married for two years and so that inspired me. And uh, how do you feel about you know the ho Hollywood's current economic climate as a woman in, in Hollywood? Yeah. Is that working in your favor? Is it working against you? How can you uh, uh, give us a little idea about that? I mean I don't know that being a woman is ever working in your favor unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but I think that, that slowly but surely there's more awareness getting raised um, about women in film and there's more programs for us and um, more programs promoting equality in all areas. So, I'm going to ask you another question that I asked Christy earlier on. Why LACC? LACC is awesome. LACC is great because um, it's an inexpensive program where you get the hands-on um, to be able to immediately work in the industry. I mean, they you go into a class your first day and you're just immediately given a camera, go, create something, you know? And, and then you slowly learn how to use it and make mistakes and, you know, make mistakes in school where you're not gonna get fired. So it's, it's an awesome program. If you could work with anyone on the planet, no budget, who would it be? On the planet? Yeah, like any actor, actress, director, whatever. Oh my gosh. Well, I think Martin Scorsese. Why? I just think he is an amazing storyteller. 
Yeah, he's just a, an incredible storyteller in all aspects of his, his visuals to which screenplays he chooses to all, all that. I love it. Wow, well, you're definitely an inspiration for me, and I appreciate that. And I hope your future goes really well with the help of LACC. Thank nice to meet you. you. Nice Thank you very you. much. Yeah, Thank you. Of course. We have Doana, who's nominated for Best Screenplay. Hey, Doana, how are you? Hi, how are you? Um, what inspired you to do this? Um, well, basically, what, what do you mean, the project or? The, the project and coming to LACC. Oh my God, I love LACC. LACC has been such a, a beacon for my um, creativity, you know? I initially was like, oh, I'm just gonna come and you know take one class, and then I ended up going through the whole program. So I've been here since like, for, since the beginning and I love my teachers and the guidance here has been like fantastic for okay. me. What's the biggest risk you've taken while making a project? Just going outside of the box, like not doing what everyone else is doing, but trying to do something different and something that just has like people will be like, oh, I don't know about that. And then it ends up being like something interesting, you know, just trying to try different things. And I've asked this before, if you could work with anyone, who would it be? Oh, um, if I can work with anybody, I would work with Robert Zumeckis. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, he has a fantastic vision. Um, his, his films are just, they have such a, a feel to them and they're very interesting. Like, they're out of the box. So I kind of, I'm like, wow, like, I think I can learn a lot from that, you know? Okay, so you say Robert Zemeckis. Yeah. Why LACC and not USC? Well, LACC, like I said, has fantastic teachers. Like the the cultivation, it's a small group of people here, so you end up building relationships with people easier. You find that you still like. I'll visit my teachers. I'll sit and I'll talk to them, and like they're very, very, very hands on and just inspiring their students, and as well as trying to help them out. So like I can email Jen and be like, Hey, Jen, you know, can I can I talk to you? Or can I get advice from you? And you know, same thing with Dylan. Same thing with Michelle. Like same thing with Rossiter. They're all very very, very hands-on with their students and they allow like like they'll help you with your growth and your journey and I think that that's something that's really important when you look for like a film school to go to you know you can definitely build your network here and you can build as a filmmaker one thing I've noticed as an immigrant coming here uh, how diverse this actually school was and when I told people I was coming to LAC so they're like that's a community college and I was like I don't care because I, I had so much joy when I was here for three years that like like you say the alumni, the, the teachers are my friends now. And whenever I need some advice, I always report to them, just like you say. As an African-American woman in Hollywood, how do you feel with the current economic climate? I think that things are changing, which it's really good. There's a lot of good people that are stepping forward and getting opportunities and just saying like, hey, we're here. We want to be represented. And I think that that's important, you know? I think the fact that like being a black person, that that is something where we're like, let's create films to represent us and everybody else. And then as a woman, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, okay, I got to create these films and I got to like look out for my next sister, you know, <laughs> so that we can all do these things together. I think that that's what it's about. And I think that now that people are more aware of things, everyone's kind of like open to it because diversity is, is key. I mean, that's America. It is diverse and it should be diverse. We should have all these people from all over the world here because it makes America such a better place because of it. That was awesome. Thank you for your time, and I really Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have Amanda Michelle and LA onto, onto the, the floor right now, who is nominated for a couple of awards. How are yes. you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Uh, what was your inspiration in these projects? Uh, so we co-wrote yeah. Pockets. Yeah. Um, so just about to... S yeah, go ahead. I guess. I don't know. What was the inspiration? Um, racism. Yeah, racism. Police Looking in the mirror every day yeah, and then trying brutality. to make a joke out of it. Yeah, we're the lighter take on kind of some of the darker mm -hmm. things going on and affecting, I guess, the society as a whole. And um, my comedian friend here pitched yep. in and helped me come up with some really funny catch lines. And, you know, we created Pocket. Yeah. Wrote it. Came out with a good cast, yeah. good crew. Um, really proud of it. We submitted to a couple festivals. So yeah. hopefully this is an sure. honor to be here. Yeah, definitely. That's really inspiring that you, you uh, submitted to a couple of film festivals, yeah. but I'm going to ask you the same question as everyone else. Why here and why not UCLA or AFI or anywhere like that? 
This is just a stepping stone. Stepping stone. Excuse me. UCLA will be next. Um, just wanted to get my foot in the door and kind of feel it out to see. This is something I like doing. I'm an actor, so I wanted to get a behind the scenes uh, feel of it. Okay. Um, for me, I wanted the, uh, I kind of took a break after I graduated the first time and I went in nonprofit sector and um, I did some research about programs that would be able to give me the hands-on experience that I needed and LACC came very highly rated. Um, the Allen Brothers, I love them by the way, Menace to Society, shouts out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, LACC came very highly rated. I love the faculty here, the facilities are awesome and so just, like, you said, like she said, it's an honor to be here and we're excited to kind of start the journey. It's our first semester, so it's pretty yeah, awesome. Nice. And which was your uh, biggest risk when coming here? You must have failed considerably, as we all do. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest risk you took whilst being here? Um, I think just putting this project together, because a lot of people could probably see it as something that, like I even tried casting some people that are like, I don't want to touch that project, I don't yeah. want to be part of it. People are very sensitive about the subject, so I think just being able to produce this short and then to put it out there and then like that, people you know decide for themselves what they think about it that was probably the bi biggest risk was just doing it yeah I'm gonna second that the biggest risk was doing it um, and kind of trying to find a way to make it funny enough that people would laugh but still at least start the conversation about race relations police brutality and just being a human being because as you can tell we're completely opposite both not just in how we look but our personalities but we found commonalities and this project is a result of that I'm a firm believer of having team uh, teamwork in a project, and you seem to be a bit of a yin and yang. Do you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally <laughs> yin and yang. Uh, um, thank you very much, yeah, guys. I appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to meet you so guys. Thank you very you. much. Hello, Adriana. How are you? How are you? Uh, just, I'm going to ask you the same question that I've asked everyone else. Why LACC? Oh, yeah, they have a really good platform and all the uh, uh, people that want to actually become uh, creative in film and in TV. And ALACC is such a great uh, college for that. And, and it has a lot of hands-on uh, far, as far as equipment and everything. Yeah. What was the biggest risk you took while doing the projects? The biggest risk, um, I think... Uh, I guess being the first time that I was doing the editing and uh, directing, uh, it was like uh, all by myself doing all the, the, the short films. So uh, just learning throughout the whole uh, process of, of making the short was, was really the, uh, the biggest challenge, I think. And if there's some advice that you could give to someone, what would it be? Uh, it would be that uh, if, if for all of you uh, creative people out there uh, that are inspired to, to create films and uh, be into the TV uh, industry, I suggest you, you come into LACC because it's such a great college, uh, it's such a great platform for all you uh, creative people out there. And if there was a project that you had, you had an unlimited budget and you could work with anyone, who would it be? Uh, as famous? <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, I don't know actually, I really love working with uh, the independent film uh, people out there, not necessarily a specific person, but just the, the, the people that are really hungry for creative uh, and, and, and making their own uh, films and stuff, so yeah. Cool, and um, what's your next move? My next move is, I think, uh, just to create more films, short films, and of course I'm learning a lot, so um, yeah, that's about it. Keep moving forward, that's all I got to say. It was nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.